don't know why it smells like marijuana, but it kind of does Mystery. to me. Mystery. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna get in there. I'm gonna show you. Oh, maybe we should just get in here together. Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that's, <laughs> you seem to really like it. I do like it, I, can, I need one of these. Hey, I'm Milena Rizek and I'm here at Summer Stage in Central Park for a show by the Flaming Lips. People have been lining up here all afternoon to get a good spot. You need tickets for Flaming Lips? It is a hot ticket because the Lips are known for their over-the-top performances. There are costumes, there are lasers, there's an inflatable bubble. We went backstage with Wayne Coyne to see how they put it all together. I mean, we have giant confetti launchers and I have that big space bubble and we have a lot of smoke machines and video walls. And, you know, to me, it's never been just about listening. This is, this is the best night of the summer right here. Is this your first time playing here? It is, yes. It was the first time playing in Central Park. You know, unfortunately, and this, is, this isn't anybody's fault, you know, when you're on property like Central Park, it's actually very restrictive. Hey, come on, come on, come on! Tonight, um, we are not allowed to do balloons. There are a lot of restrictions about volume. I'm not even sure that I'm allowed to say that I'm going to do the space bubble. <laughs> Sometimes we just don't really tell anybody, and we do it anyway, and we will apologize and do whatever we have to do later. I mean, I think we like that there's stuff going on while we play this intense music. In the mid-90s, you know, we were making a lot of records and doing a lot of shows as I guess what I would call maybe a, a standard freak rock group. You know, we played loud guitars with a lot of feedback, a lot of effects. And we had been doing that for a long time. We started in 1983, so... And, the, and then I started to really be intrigued about this whole concept of just, you know, we really could go and do anything we wanted. And it was just a little switch in my mind of your group is really what you make it. One of the first things that we bought were two Echoplexes and two smoke machines. And it's fun. I mean, there's so many good gadgets that you can get these days. We're gonna blow the smoke right over here. Well I have these this this giant pair of my own hands. I got this idea to put lasers into the hands. Isn't that amazing? Don't look yeah. at it. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. I think I'm I'm really lucky that as we've gone along, you know, we're successful enough that you can get these dumb ideas and then just start to do them and how many of these ideas are high ideas that you get when you're under the influence? Did you say high ideas. Yeah. <laughs> no, none of them. No, I mean I don't really smoke pot, and I don't. I, I mean I don't take drugs. I mean I've been I've been high. You know we've been doing this for a long time, and you'll be there in the afternoon, and we have giant mirror balls, and I've take, I've taken giant lasers and simply pointed them at mirror balls. And I thought, damn, that looks fantastic. We should do that. I mean a lot of it is just plain curiosity. You would do the same thing. I mean I, I you know to me that's always where the inertia to follow these ideas come from because I think if you were in the audience, what would you want? Talk to me. have an audience unless they like your music. When they get this rush of people saying, this is so great, you know, that, that makes all the difference. It's a great sort of, I don't know, is it, is it a communal experience? Is that, is that the word? It's just this thing that we all get to experience together. Mm -hmm. 